Hello friends, today I am going to show you another cool feature of burp is burp spider as we discussed in previous video. Burp spider offer a way of mapping web application in automated fashion. Burp spider work is that you first set up burp to proxy your internet usage as we discussed in previous video. Next we need to enable burp spider and while it is running burp will map all the request and offer the ability to spider any captured request to find new targets. To use the spider, click the spider tab to bring up the default configuration. Here it is. Now click on the spider is pause button to change the status to spider is running. Here we just submit that form. Same to click continue. Burp map all the requests seen by the proxy under the target tab here. So click on the target tab to see the what has been captured. Here you can see the list of targets that are being used on the proxy. URL that are in grey means that you have not directly browsed those targets. While URL in black here it is are site that you have browsed to. Now to use spider function right click on the target and select spider this hospital. When we go to the spider tab, you will notice that the spider status count have been changed from 0 to an accumulating numbers. It's a quite fast process. When spider process is completed, go to target tab and find the host you originally selected to spider. Here, click on the triangle. You will see all the spider results. Burp so all pages and links that the spider process has captured. In addition, it will capture the root directory, web page style, subfolders and javascripts. Here you can see its php login page, javascripts. So that is our part 2. So please subscribe and give your feedback. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.